and the founder of Sketch AR, uh, the most innovative drawing um, and uh, um, AR app and platform for artists. Uh, he's here today to tell us the whole truth about AR technology um, in uh, consumer mobile apps. Uh, I think he's also connected from remote. Andrei Drobiko. Ciao, Andrei. Sorry for your uh, for me, you know, missing your last name. How are you? Happy to see you again. Happy to uh, have you here with us again. Thanks a lot for having me. And I'm super excited to be here and to share our experience and our vision about AR, how to use it in consumer app. And yeah, I would love to share like our almost five years experience of developing uh one of the most innovative uh creative apps sounds great excellent excellent so i'll leave you the stage thanks a lot thanks a lot uh so the plan is someone to introduce what sketchr is for those who have never heard about sketchr then i tried to show you explain uh more products about ar uh or ar is one part of the product and then uh try to understand uh is it possible to build a one billion company or five billion company around ar as a feature or ar as a product uh okay the quick intro my name is andre i'm founder and CEO of sketch ER, the best use of ar baby awards most of the innovative apps but all of that actually doesn't matter uh for the end users uh probably if your agency if you promote uh like companies using ER, it is pretty helpful but in terms of products consumer products it doesn't matter because uh the thing is that you need to create the value for the end user and ar try to explain that it is not uh, so important or probably important uh, for users so just to clarify uh ar for in products uh, usually has the different kpis in terms of engagement retention stick and so on ar as a promo feature it is it should be kind of uh, viral, engaged uh, the the users, and that's it. I'm going to focus AR on AR in products. Uh, okay, what Sketch AR is? What it was like four or five years ago? It was just one feature. How to draw using augmented reality? When you uh, look through the smartphone, you or you see a virtual. Uh, lines and you do the same like trace the real piece of art on a paper we thought and we think this is one of the greatest examples of using augmented reality but in terms of metrics it was less than one percent of retention after 12 uh, 12 months it's just a reality we thought okay something wrong with with this amazing feature uh, yeah, this is just just uh, an example of the retention uh, when we started, like uh, in 2017. Okay, then we try to understand how people use AR. The first, uh, uh, the great example for, for for example here when you move virtual chair, uh, but in terms of uh, kind of long term strategy, we think you wouldn't use it daily. Like it is just impossible to. Uh, to move a virtual chair uh, through your uh, room every day. Okay, the second thing, like games uh, who use, who use uh, AR, uh, can you play these games without AR? Obviously, yes. And that's why like AR, uh, not so important feature at this moment, just as a promo. The third thing, uh, how usually people like promote uh, uh, AR, content and AR experience through kind of uh, interactions. But in terms of in reality, people uh, like myself, I want to touch uh, everything and see it in the real uh, real sofa uh, in Ikea. I just want to uh, move my fingers, not to, uh, I don't know, move my whole body just playing with AR and with friends. I just want to uh, drink wine and play on table games without kind of uh, interactions. This is just a reality. This is just uh, how we think about uh, using ER. And this is the main point, why we are so curio uh, curious about the real use cases. And our main goal, we want to uh, kind of uh, recommend, think about the real use cases and human behavior. It is 
super important. I I don't want to uh, kind of discreditate uh, all the people uh, like futurists who try to show like uh, digital layer and digital interface, but in reality, just try to hold a pencil uh, for five minutes. It is impossible. People are unfortunately we are lazy. We want to move just our fingers, not the whole body, the whole I don't know ten uh, hours manipulate with the uh, deep layer like AR layer. That's why uh, we realized that uh, we need to focus not only for feature, AR for feature, but the user experience. It is very important in terms of products. And that's why we always ask ourselves, what if, uh, for example, in our case, what if people don't have a piece of paper or a pencil, but they want to draw? OK, we set up uh, just drawing tool for them. And now we increased our retention like three uh, three times. Then we tried to understand, okay, if I don't want to draw, but I want to be inspired. Okay, this is feed for you where you can uh, see how other artists uh, and what they create. Okay, and after that, okay, if I don't want to be inspired or just want to uh, turn myself into uh, kind of into art. Okay, we, uh, uh, we applied, uh, we set up new networks how to turn yourself into cartoon style. Bow and after like so, some time with our retention. But this actually, it is low and we continue to improve the app in terms of user experience. In terms of thickness, this is the same picture. Like when we used AR as a main feature, it was less than like 5% of our audience use it daily. Now it is more than 20%. We use it daily, not because of VR, but the whole creative experience uh, through the whole app. This is not a conclusion. VR is not important. Uh, it's a feature to the end user, as I mentioned. The users are interested in the cases. They want to solve their problems. And important because smartphones, unfortunately, smartphones, is uh, are not the best device for AR. Now you can uh, take uh, a screenshot of this funny image, but yes, this is the reality. A smartphone is just kind of in the middle before we have like AR glasses. This is obviously true. We experienced uh, uh, through uh, over the last like five years, and this is one of the examples how usually the common people just use AR. Uh, yeah, in terms of uh, like products, if you try to separate all the metrics and then try to separate uh, by know, user types, in our cases, beginners, progressive, and pro artists, you will see that uh, the whole map is not about AR, but uh, experience is the one, um, is the most important thing where AR could be or might be one of the, uh, one part of this experience. But uh, I don't want to say that AR, uh, it is not important. We, uh, we explore a lot. We are um, we're authors of the like several patents and computer vision and AR is a huge part of our product, and a huge part of our, uh, our strategy. And that's why in terms of a little, uh, we look at augmented reality and long term strategy. Example, we have um, um, kind of technology inside the app, and it's recommendation system. Uh, we call it drawing monitor. It means we understand every line from you, we understand how you hold the pencil and collect all these data. So we use AR as kind of time to grab all these data to build the pretty personalized uh, system uh, for you to draw or do anything you want. One of the kind of final thoughts, uh, how we, uh, what, what is the value from this time, from this time where we use AR on mobile devices, is that it could be a uh, great opportunity for you to explore different areas. Like for us, uh, we created this uh, like information system in the app, and it could be used in health to predict. Uh, the development disorders and variations in children. Kind of, this is not about creativity, but pretty important to research.
And this is the final thought and experience, not features. Uh, and yeah, actually, uh, if you're not agency, if you're a product team, you can use AR as a promo feature. This is an example, of course, from us. AR is still rocking as a promotion. We gain more than 800,000 followers on TikTok just because of AR. Just show people how they can use, I don't know, how they can draw Billy Eilish using augmented reality. So please use immersive tech smartly. And yeah, one thing I forgot. Today we announced the new feature uh, in terms of NFC. Yeah, every artwork, the artwork can be turned into NFT directly from SketchYard. And this is the final thought. Like we create an experience for user, for users where they are just one part of this experience. Yes, we started from augmented reality, but here uh, uh, we build a product where AR is a crucial part, but not so uh, uh, the main one. Thanks a lot. I hope you enjoyed the show. Thank you very much, Andre. Thanks a lot.